Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. And tonight, I got a pretty special show. You know, at the beginning of my show, um, all the time, I always mention people that I consider really did an awful lot for paintball back in the day when paintball first started. And um, I've got some greats on tonight. And I've actually got uh, one of my closest friends on tonight who was very instrumental years ago in paintball and still is today. Um, so I will introduce him in just a little bit, but real quick, I got to say hi to Paul Farrell, Paul Farrell, Ryan Courtney. These guys are the first guys that jump in and Spike's watching Spike, part of the band right on James. Looking forward to seeing you in St. Louis, St. Louis. That's one thing we're talking about tonight. How cool is that? Yeah. We're going to talk about, uh, tournaments coming up. You know, I've, I'm going to even mention the NXL, um, which is going to be in November, but you know, my focus tonight is, uh, to let you you know, meet some of these terrific guys that are with the WCPL. A couple of guys that we're actually bringing in to the WCPL with a terrific field. And um, I'm just looking forward to talking to these guys. These guys are great. Um, you know them all. You've seen them all for years. They they probably at some point in your career, they, they've they helped you too. Um, because this is uh, the best group of guys for paintball you would absolutely ever want. I mean it. Uh, and tonight, you know, I was going to tell you, I might as well just tell you, you know, I give these guys out in a shout out. You know, a lot of the guys I shout out are on this show tonight. How cool is that? Absolutely very cool. But I'm going to give them out anyhow in a minute. But, you know, I got Bud Orr on tonight. I got Dan and John Colby, you know, Bud Orr, War Game Products. Oh, that's it. You know, I got, all I got to say, you know, I, I say Bud's name. I say Dan's name. I say Tim's name. Everybody knows these guys are. But I'm going to tell you, you know, Dan and John Colby, mortal heir, uh, Air America back in the day. Uh, and uh, Kevin Donaldson is going to be on tonight. I have Mr. Steve Priskill on. I hope I pronounced that right, Steve. Uh, he'll tell me when I pull him up here in a little while. Uh, he is uh, Danny's partner in Pan Handle Paintball in northern Florida. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, talking to him and meeting him. And we're going to talk about the WCPL, the tournament coming up in St. Louis here tonight. So I'm going to give my shout outs because I've got a just a, a, a paintball wall of Luluza. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking forward to this tonight. You know, this is uh, this is some really, really good people I got in here tonight. Let me give my shout outs real quick. And I start every week, bar none, with uh, uh, an extremely good friend of mine for, for many, many, many years. Matter of fact, all these people on this list are my friends. But uh Tim Schloss. Now, he has Gateway Paintball. Um, Gateway Paintball is uh, up in St. Louis, and that's where the last of the WCPL for the year is going to be held. And it's going to be held October 15th and 16th. And I got to tell you, even if you're not going to play, you're going to want to come up and see this. The field is amazing. The people that are going to be there are amazing. And the fun and the good time you will have will be absolutely amazing. So you're going to want to come up and you're going to want to check that out. Uh, Tim Schloss had Tiger Stripe back in the day and and there is a new Tiger Stripe coming out. Same pattern, the original pattern, not a knockoff, but the original pattern. So you're going to want to be checking this out. Uh, they'll be coming out pretty soon. Um, you know, Tim's, uh, you know, Tim's like, like Dan Cobius, you know, they're very, very fussy about their products, period, you know, and uh, that's why they're so special to me is because they just don't put it together and throw it out there. They work extremely hard at their products, and I, I just absolutely love it. So anyhow, Mr. Dan and John Colby, Immortal Air, been my sponsors for like 32 years. Man, I mean, uh, I can't say Dan and I were young when this happened, but I can say John, his son, was real young. Dan and I were just like younger. So, you know, I can live with the younger thing. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like it. And then Mr. Bud Orr. Now, Bud Orr, everybody knows Bud, period. I mention his name every week because what the guy has done for paintball in the past and what the guy is still doing for paintball is miraculous. And um, all these people that I mentioned, they deserve so much credit for what they've done and what they're still doing. These people are, I mean, back in the day, paintball was very hard to get off the ground, believe me. We all took a lot of heat, and uh, but we made it happen. And these people are still out there doing it today. Uh, you, you just got to love them. And you got to, one big thing, you have to really, really respect them. 
because they're absolutely terrific people. And I'm going to pull them all up in a minute. Let me run through this real quick. Mr. Tom K. Tom K. was my second market sponsor, Air Gun Designs, for a lot of years. Great, great person. Uh, out there looking for bones right now. He's a uh, dinosaur bones, that is. And uh, he's just a, a terrific person. I, I love the guy. Rainy and Juvie Boucher. I mention them every week because back in the day, they had paintball news. Now, two times a month, you could go out to any field and pick up one of these newspapers. It didn't cost the player a penny. And in the paper, it showed you what just happened, what was going on, where all the fields were located, what was coming up, new products, old products. It, it was just like the Bible of paintball. And so Rainey and Juvie Boucher, I have to mention them every week. I think they were so terrific and so instrumental on in what they did for the sport of paintball also. And Mr. Randy Camilla, he was the editor for APG back in the day, gave me my very first cover shot. Mr. Jerry Braun had Paintball Sport back in the day, Paintball Sport Magazine. Now he has Paintball Sport Field in New York, up in Newburgh, New York. Terrific field. Just terrific. Uh, you know, that's one thing I love about the, the WCPL. You know, I mean, Jerry's field, Tim's field, they, they are absolutely terrific. I cannot wait for people to go in and, and play Tim's field. You guys are going to absolutely love it. And I'll tell you something. I'll give you a quick Quick teaser here. We used to call him the Invisible Man because he always called. We could never get him on. But tonight we actually have Tim Schloss in the flesh on this show. I mean, I, I'm still shaking like Don Knox. I'm so happy I got this guy on here. It's absolutely amazing, you know. Um, and, and I'm gonna I'll pull Bud up in a minute too because you know Bud knows and so does Bill Bailey know. You know, it took us what two years to get him on here. So. Pretty quick, you know, I, for some reason I couldn't pull him up on his flip phone, but uh, things are getting better. Things are looking up for Tim. Tim is almost into the 21st century. We're working very, very hard with him. So then I got to say hi real quick to Mr. Ross Alexander. He had line SI back in the day, my very first marker sponsor. I still have my original Bushmaster. I played my very first professional tournament with when it was 15 man. And actually that is where I met. Mr. Tim Schloss was at that tournament, was at, uh, matter of fact, Jim Lively. It was at his Masters. Back in the day, there was two tournaments he wanted to do. One was the Masters in Tennessee, and the other was Jerry Brown's World Cup in New York. I got to tell you, it, it was like a homecoming, you know. Um, it was like a family reunion because, you know, all the people that you knew, you respected, and you liked we're all going to be at these two tournaments. And it was just absolutely terrific. I, I just loved it. And then I have to mention Gino from Belkin. <clears throat> now, you know, everybody knows Gino. You know, Gino's he's got a heck of a business going, no doubt about it. But, you know, Gino does a lot of stuff behind the scenes uh, for people that, that need a hand with this and with that. So I mention Gino every week because... Um, a lot of you don't see what he does behind the scenes. I'm fortunate enough to kind of be in this circle. So I'm very, very happy. And that's why I mention him every week. I think he's a terrific guy and he does an awful lot for the sport of paintball. And then everybody knows I love the young guns, the young guns. That's right. The young guns. That is the future of our sport. I wish I could be a young gun. Obviously I'm, I'm just barely an old gun, uh, but anyhow, you know, these guys, these kids that are coming up are terrific. And I support them. I, I mean, my favorite is the Hermans. There's a lot of young guns uh, showing up right now. Uh, a lot of these teams, a lot, a lot of great, great kids are showing up. You know, I mean, I've got uh, right here, I've got Mark Gong Jr. and Jaden Gong, two, two of my little friends that have been just terrific for a lot of years. I've got Graylin McDonald now. He's on the team actually called the Young Guns. So, you know, a lot of these kids are, they're terrific. They're not only terrific players, but off the field, they're, they're exactly what you want for paintball. You want people to, to see these kids and to see just how polite they are. And um, that's what builds paintball. Because like I say, everybody, you can be the best player on the field. You come off and you're acting like a jerk. You got somebody over here that never played paintball, but thinking about it, they're going to see that. And they're going to go, yeah, that's not for me. I don't need that kind of headache, you know, but you see somebody, got, somebody coming off, having a good time, you know, high-fiving, everything like that. You're going to want to go do it. So anyhow, gave my shout outs. I think it's time that we talk tournament paintball and uh, we're going to talk uh, WCPL. And we're also going to mention NXL too. That's coming up in November. And Stefan Gumby, Santorsola. I've been working on that Gumby. I just about got it down pat. 
Uh, anyhow, let me bring up real quick my buddy, my buddy who is uh, a little bit under the weather, but he is getting a lot better right now because I can see some color in his face. Yeah, finally. Finally, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the green is almost gone. I like that. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I would just tell everybody it was a camera. So, yeah. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. Yeah, I know. We got Bonchick watching tonight, too. You know, Bonchick's going to be at the WCPL in St. Louis. And I had her on a few weeks ago. What a great, great person. And I am just, I cannot wait to meet her, Bill, yep. face to face. She is so cool. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely no, love it. While. She goes all over the place and plays. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's, she's like, you know, some of her profile pictures and stuff she takes are just great. So I am definitely looking forward to that lady. So what do you say? You know, we got some pretty good guests in it. And we got Tim Schloss. Can you believe that? Oh, my God. He pops He pops up. I'm in the green room, right? And he pops up and he goes, oh, oh, I don't know what I hit. But here I am. <laughs> you know, and that's what I tell everybody. I'd rather be lucky than good, you know? I, I called the Pope to see if hell froze over. It, <laughs> it hasn't. So. I absolutely love it. We got some great guys on tonight. So we need to stay. Uh, we roll them out here. Huh? We're going to have a little bit of a crowd tonight, but uh, I'm loving yep. it. Yep, yep. You know, every, everybody we got on tonight are terrific people. And what have they done for paintball? How about just saying the word everything? Yeah, there's... It's, it's all the crew. It is. It it absolutely is. So I'm I'm going to save my buddy for last. I'm going to let him sit there and stew because you know he, he took two years to get on the damn show. You can sit and wait on him oh, a few gosh. minutes. Yeah, I he's love probably it, still getting his makeup done. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I told him in the green room too. He said, yeah, I got to get my makeup done. You know, I consist of a bag with two holes in it. But anyhow, you know. <laughs> so, I would have the unknown comic on tonight, but I guess it's just him. <laughs> yeah, the unknown comic. All right, so, you know, I'm going to start right now with uh, just a terrific guy. You know, um, everybody, please welcome Mr. Budor. Yeah. Hey, how you doing, everybody? Hey, how you doing this evening, bud? I'm doing great, man. Glad to be on here and uh, seeing a bunch of great people and great friends. So, oh, what a what a group tonight, huh? Oh man, it's outstanding. outstanding. Yeah, it it is. Yeah, you know, and and we got Tim Schloss on. My head almost exploded when he popped on. I'm like, oh my god, Tim Schloss, the great right. Tim Schloss. His, his head almost exploded when he came on. He was like, how the hell did that yeah. happen? Yeah, he, he did. Yeah, he's like, oh oh, so you, Freddie? <laughs> I absolutely love it. Yeah, Tim is a little more Tim's a little more backwards than I am and all this stuff. But I, I, you know, I mean, I'm I'm bad, but he's worse. But uh, <laughs> you know, I was really surprised. I didn't think he could do it on a flip phone. You know, but he said, "Nah, it's not on a flip phone." I know. So. Yeah. Hey, he just got a phone a while ago. He was using a carrier pigeon until he got yeah. sick. Yeah. So, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so well, we had one of those big long cans with a string on each end. You know, in between them, and we had talked that way. You know? Remember, we talked in the green room about giving away his secrets. Now, come on, bud. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I, forgot, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, it, I it's thought. okay. It's okay. So I want to bring on a, another guy um, and his son. You know, um, the guy is ter just terrific lucky. He he has a son to take over the business, taking over a terrific business. Uh, please, everybody, welcome Mr. Dan and Mr. John Colby. <laughs> hey, guys. How you doing? Hey, everybody. Hey. How, you doing? <laughs> how you guys doing? Good, good to see you guys. This is yeah, awesome. What a group tonight, huh? What's yeah? Oh, amazing group. Great people. Great people. Yeah, and, and, and you know what? We've got some terrific uh, people watching us right now too. I, I, you know, I wish I could. Some of their names I can get. Some of them I can't. Like, here's this one. Hello, Mister Orr, but his Facebook user. I don't know who it is. Now, Bud, Bill will look it up for me though. Good, good thing yeah, I got I'm a stage manager. Yeah, yeah, you're doing good. That's Bonchick. That's Bonchick. Oh, oh right on. Yeah. That's my girl. Yeah, I wish your names would pop up on here. God. Yeah, they're on the phone too, but then I got to put my magnifying glasses on to see their names. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got I got a 55 inch TV here, so I can see it says Facebook user. So I'm all, all in tune with that. So Mean Gene gave us four hands up. Oh, did he? Yeah. Kathy oh, that's pretty cool. Guy. Usually it's one finger up. I love it. So, Kathy yeah. Alvarez says hi. Very cool. Well, I'm going to bring out some other people. You know, uh, real quick, um, 
Dan, John, I appreciate so much you guys joining us tonight. Um, you know, awesome. uh, awesome. you know, I was talking about the WCPL, and um, we've got uh, Dan's partner on here tonight, too. Uh, so we're going to talk to both of these guys because they have a terrific field down there in northern Florida called Dan Handle Paintball. <laughs> now, we're in the green room. I just got done. I was so flabbergasted I got Tim on the show. I, I, I said gateway paintball, but it is panhandle paintball. And um, from the pictures that I've seen, I think it's terrific. And we're going to talk a little bit tonight about just how proud we are to have these guys with us. I think it's absolutely great. So, um, yeah, I, I want to bring on Steve real quick. This is, uh, I'm going to, I'm getting to you, Tim. <laughs> uh, anyhow, um, everybody, please welcome Mr. Steve Preskill. Hey. How you doing, Steve? Hey, everybody. Hey, Steve. How you doing, hey, Steve? How's it going? I'm 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 kind of jealous. Danny got the uh he got the good set up there. I got uh I got tucked away somewhere quiet. It seems. Oh, yeah. you know, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to tell you, you're on. That's what counts. Believe me. You know, yeah. and, and, and you know, I I love Danny. You know, I I got I to have Danny's back, and no matter whatever happened. But if Danny had to get on here we wouldn't be talking to Danny. You know, John is the one that sets that up. So, you know, uh, yeah. so uh, we love you, John. You did a great job. Thank you. It took me a year to figure out how to do this. So I have yeah, nothing I'm, to brag about. Beyond Tim. Okay, so wherever Tim might be, I, I'm like three blocks south of that. You know what I mean? So. Oh, no. Yeah. no I, I don't, you'd, you'd still be dragging a club in the sand if you were. <laughs> <laughs> You're not far from wrong, Freddie. You know? Yeah. And then I'm going to bring on a, a friend of ours, uh, one of the nicest guys you ever want to meet, and another person that's done an awful lot for paintball over the years. Please, everybody welcome Mr. Kevin Donaldson. Yeah, man, Kevin. What's hey. going on, Kev? Hey, Kev. Hey, hey. hey Kev. What's happening? What's going on? Good to see you all. All right, Good guys, you ready you, for this? I wish I had a big drum roll because uh, uh, it would be so cool. Please, everybody welcome. Yeah, there you go. Everybody welcome. We used to call him the invisible man because he would never be on the screen. He was always on the phone. But I am so pleased and so happy to have this guy on here tonight. Please, everybody welcome Mr. Tiger Stripe, Mr. Tim Schloss. Right on. Hey, What's hey, going on, hey, Tim? Hey, hey, this guy. Hey, 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 Tim. <laughs> Well, let me call Terry yeah, to wake you up. Glasses, huh? Terry, wake your husband up. <laughs> wake him up. How you doing, Tim? Uh, is he speechless? Is he uh -oh. talking? <laughs> I'm on mute. Oh, no. <laughs> Push the red button. Push the red button. Yeah. No. <laughs> He's just playing a joke. He decided to be on the show, but no audio. You can yeah. look, but not talk. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Tim. Can you hear us? We can't Shake hear your you, head. Tim. Shake your head. Oh, my God. No, uh, not again. He, we had him in the green room, and it was working perfect. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Somehow it got muted. Hey, hey Tim, read my lips. Push <laughs> the red button. Couldn't have any on tonight, bud. <laughs> <laughs> last time last time bud told uh who was that bond chick to push the red button she was gone <laughs> oh god oh god tim we can see you but we can't hear you now hey call in dude <laughs> oh jesus oh tim tim take a look there's a little microphone button can you see it? On the bottom. On the bottom. It's it's a microphone with a red thing to it. A white. Red. Push it. Oh, well, I, I got to tell you, bud, you'd have been great in the Garden of Eden. <laughs> <laughs> well, he'll have an apple. No problem. I've been pushing that red button for 50 years. Hey, Tim. Can you hear us, Tim? Oh, God. He oh, should be. No. He should be able to talk now. <laughs> yeah. I can you can you hear us? Can you hear us, Tim? <laughs> well, that's that stare. He can't hear shit. 
<laughs> We're halfway there. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. There's something going on with it. I can kind of hear him every once in a while. So uh, yeah. somebody get him a whiteboard and just write it out. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we can see you, but we can't hear you. All right. I'll just talk to you and you can relay what I say. <laughs> well, we're, we're, I don't know what the hell happened. Everything was fine, and then it just went to hell. There, there, there should be a little microphone. You see the little microphone on there? Yeah. Um, go ahead and click on it. I, yeah. Now it says unmute. Yeah. There you go. Now try talking. No, he's on now? mute right now. It's on mute. It shows that he's muted. Uh, oh, it shows you're muted. Click on it again. Use your other finger. <laughs> there he is. There it goes. Nope, now he's not. You can see it, Bill? Yeah, I can see his microphone. It's there. Now he should be good. Okay, talk now. How's that, Tim? Wow, see, I don't know what happened. Yeah, there's something else going on because every once in a while you can hear him. It's like he's squelched or something. It's Maybe the volume's up too high or something. I don't know. Can he hear us? Can you, Tim, can you hear us? I'll take that as a no. Probably not. Our, uh, you know what? That is so sad. I've waited so long to get this guy have out. Have him log out and back in again. Ah. Hey, it was a roll of the dice to get him in. Yeah. We can hear him on your speakerphone. Yeah. That'll work. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Tim. <laughs> yeah. Hey, log out and then log back in again. Uh, oh no, he might not. Yeah, log, log out, log back in again. There you go. I'm leaving the studio. Okay. okay. Now log okay. back in again. All right. What do I push? Okay. <laughs> uh, Have him go back to your messenger. Go back to go back to the messenger and get and back, back on it. Click on it. This is unbelievable. Oh, man, we waited so long for this, too. I know. We had everything going good, and then for no reason, it just went straight south. Well, let me play with it, and then you guys keep just, just get back to the show, and I'll see what I can do from here. Right on, buddy. We'll be looking for you. All right. Bye. All right. <laughs> All right, everybody. That was Mr. Tim Schloss, the Invisible Man. It's uh, uh, unreal. It's unreal. So, Danny, uh, Yo. you know what? Uh, <clears throat> we were talking about... Actually, the other day I had a guy uh, text me about uh, we were talking about Immortal Air, and he had a, actually had a tank that was back from Air America. I still got one too, and it still was holding air. And this is an old carbon fibered Air America tank, and he had found it. It was laying in his garage or something, and it still had air in it. That's how good your regs are, buddy. <laughs> Hey, real good. Good to hear that. You know, we're getting calls all the time from people finally wanting some parts for for Armageddon or Apocalypse. People got them on, and you know, that's uh, that's when you were able to put some money into a product, okay, and provide all the good nuances that a high end product should give you. Today, everything went so fucking cheap that you can't afford to put nice things on. Do you know what I mean? You're limited. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's uh, but yeah, you know, you, but, you put a lot of effort into it too, though, Danny. You know, I mean, I was at your shop back in the day a few times, and I seen the effort you put in. You know, the springs got to be just right. This has got to be just right. Oh, there we go. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, with us, it's as you know, and Bud and everything. You know, it's it's all about quality control. It's about uh, perfection each time. You know what I mean? But yep. it's always about creativity, and and no matter if you think you've come to the end and you finally developed the final product and but as you know anybody no matter what happens at the very last end you find something else you can tweak you know yeah. it's at the last second you come with the final product you say it's okay a high five say up in the ass it's good to go we're going to go to you know production with it and then at the very end you find something so what it is is you pick up on that end and you carry it on and then through its progression you make new new stuff. That's how we do what we do. You know what I That's mean? That's why so, I call it perfection. Yep. Tim, I mean, can you hear us now? 
Tim, can you hear us? Tim, can you hear us? Nope. What happened? His my uh, something's got to be on his end on uh, on the mute. We can't hear you, buddy. So sad. Wow. Unreal. Yep, we're gonna try it again, I guess. You know, I waited for so long, guys, to get him on here, you know, and uh, finally got the computer. And when we finally clicked on in the green room, everything was working good. I don't know what he got up and touched, but uh, I wouldn't touch it again. <laughs> I don't think it was a red button either, but I don't know. <laughs> but Bud's pushed a red button. Yeah, so, Bud's yeah. a red button. <laughs> So, Kevin, you know, we've got, uh, uh, you know, you know Dan, but we've got his uh, partner on here tonight, too, Steve. Yeah, yeah, we've never How's met. How's it going? Here we got one more time. Hey, according to this thing, my microphone's working fine. I, you know, before I click in to come into the studio. Right. It's got the little thing that's jumping up and down. It says that it's working fine. Yeah, we can't hear you. Well. Can you hear us when we talk yeah. to you? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you fine. Yeah, we can't, we couldn't hear you. So it's something that uh, it's got to be on your end because I can hear every one of these guys, no problem. Yeah, well, it don't make sense. Um, let me. I'm gonna click to enter the studio. We'll give it one more try. If that doesn't work well, you know, we're just you know try it again. Well, at least people know what you, you look you, like this time. There, there's <laughs> two. There's two entrances to the microphone. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Bud, said there's, great. Bud said there's two entrances. In, entrances to the microphone yeah the first well, one you know, it, you, it said you know, it you know, it, let's it check your camera and mic yep and when i when i'm talking this little uh, mic is working it says and it's jumping up and down every time i talk well interesting we'll click back in again all right i'm gonna do it right now all right brother so real quick Steve, yeah, first of all, you picked a pretty good partner. Danny's uh, Danny's a straight-up guy. He's a straight shooter. I've oh, yeah. Time. Um, yeah, he's a kick what? in the pants, but he's a, he's a great, great person. So, you know, he talks pretty highly of you. And, um, you know, we all kind of talked a little bit, and we're extremely excited and very happy to have you to be part of the WCPL with us, too. Uh, I am honored. I've... Uh... I think I think I've been just following Danny's lead for for what is it 20, 20 some years now. Yeah, pretty much, Steve. Uh, uh, yeah, I th I think my balls were just about to drop. I, I don't even remember how young I was, but uh, it, I've I've known Danny a long time, and uh, and and I'm honored to I'm honored to be able to join in with this. And you know, we were lucky enough to be able to uh, to go into business together. So uh, yeah. I've never been happier with that arrangement. I mean, somebody yeah. I know I can I can trust a hundred percent. So. Yeah, he is that way. He's very cool. And, you know, um, right next to you is the guy, I, I actually call him the tip of the spear that really put the WCPL into action. And that's right. Kevin Donaldson. That's right. um, yeah. yeah, that's absolutely correct. Uh, and, and anybody can say anything they want. Kevin, Kevin talked to me, I bet you, uh, shit, six months before we even talked about the WCPL. And, um, and then all of a sudden, boom, he put it into action. So, uh, yeah, Kevin. My hat's off to you, buddy. It really, really is, you know, because this is not a small undertaking, as you know. Uh, we got a good team, Freddie. We got a good group of guys. We have a good thing going, and hopefully next season will be even better. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it's a building thing. You know, um, Jeff Thompson is watching us tonight from up in Canada. And Jeff, uh, you know, was talking about a field up there, a guy would like to get involved with the WCPL. And I think uh, doing that internationally, I think, would be absolutely very, very cool. Um, I think it'd be terrific, actually. What and it would be a good addition. Definitely, definitely would love to do something in Canada. So hopefully, you know, Jeff and Martin will get that together and we'll be doing it. Yeah, because, you know, it, Jeff is a terrific guy. Jeff and Martin are two terrific guys. Yeah, real quick, Tim, can you hear us? Nod yes. No. You can't hear us at all, huh? Because what I was going to do is he could talk through the phone if, if he could hear us. You can hear us? Oh, okay. He's not, he's not, nod, yeah. nod your head. Yeah, he, he just did. He did. Uh, I think he was just like lagging by like 30 seconds or so. 
That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking yeah. he's got slow, slow internet. Yeah. He wasn't lagging before though. He was it was perfect when he was in the green room. But there weren't yeah. any on yet. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Can, you can hear us, right, Tim? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you fine. Yeah, because uh it's like it's like you're lagging a little bit in the green room. You were perfect. I can't imagine, you know. I mean, if this computer is anything like this phone, I'm way behind. <laughs> Well, but it worked Fred. in the green room. It's got to work now. No, Fred, I don't care. Well, he, 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 he knocked a couple the, of us uh, off. Uh, the mic and everything was working, but obviously something's wrong. Andy Stretz said, stop using AOL. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, I was going to ask him if he heard the, the right tones. The din yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 well, we can, we can see. You, you can hear us, right? Oh, yeah. You've got mail. Well, then we can see. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can see you, so we can do it this way, buddy. Right. So, well, whatever you want to do. Now you're good. You know, I I wanted to mention, you know, the WCPL that's coming up now on the 15th <coughs> of October is going to be in St. Louis. And uh, Tim, with you and 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 you've had build up there working on it. That field is absolutely terrific. Yeah, we're pretty proud of it. Proud. That's not even a word. You know, when I was there months ago, before you and Bill even started these other two fields, I thought yeah. it was absolutely great. You know, I mean, well, you know, Kevin's well, you know, Ponderosa is fabulous, but you know, your guys are, are just as cool there, man. I absolutely love it. Well, you know, every one of them has got their own character. The Ponderosa is the Ponderosa. I mean, not, nobody can ever duplicate that thing. I mean, the history, I mean, it plays different than everything else. It's a fabulous field. You know, in every of these fields that we've been to this year, they've all had their own, you know, there's nothing cookie cutter about it. You know, it's, they're, they're all fun places to play and, you know, they've all been, uh, you know, been great. Well, we're looking forward to doing the WCPL at your tournament, uh, at your field. Uh, I am so excited because you know what's cool is everybody that I got on the screen is going to be there. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody and I'm going to make sure we all have a good time. Um, it's, uh, it's coming together pretty good. You know, we got a couple of little things we got to finish up, but I think we're going to be fine. Yeah, I hope that hurricane doesn't get up your way. No, nah, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. I think that the biggest thing is just, you know, as long as it stays like it's been, I mean, it's 70 degree days with no humidity and blue skies. I mean, it's it's pretty nice. Yeah, that's that's absolutely perfect. And we're only a few weeks away from this now. About three weeks. Yeah. Yep. About three weeks. I think, I think that it's going to... Uh, I think it's going to be good. It's it's a completely different layout than any of the other ones we've been to. Everything is right in the middle, and the two fields are off to the sides, so you don't have to walk very far. We've got a good food truck. We've got a really good food truck going to be there. Um, it's Bill and I's favorite uh, roast beef place. They've got ham and turkey and stuff, but I mean, but it's really good. And, yeah, you know, he, yeah nice. I hear you built a, a brand new uh, parking lot and everything just for the tournament. Yeah. yeah, it's got the tar the parking lot is right there and then there's a road and then there's the team staging area. Uh, and then the center of all that is the uh we've got a stage and we've got all the registration, we got a couple of vendors, so it'll be good. Somebody just put up there the WCPL is what paintball woods ball is all about. Fun and good people. Now what a great way to say that. Thank well, you, it's thank the truth. you. I mean, that, that's the reason we started this thing was so we could have some fun. I mean, the same reason we started the band. I mean, we just wanted to have some fun with our buddies. Oh, and, do it. Uh, we do. Yeah, and I think it's been a huge success. I mean, I'm. I mean, I'm really looking forward to it. I got a kid that's coming over here, Neil Martin from uh, Australia. And 30 years ago, he came to St. Louis when they when they seen the Regulators, and they went to the Masters. Yep. And uh, you know, he's coming to play with the band. And we got you know we got the guys from Australia. We got Bart's coming over from England, and it looks like Jacko's going to be with him. Uh, we got. Uh, Jeff and one of his buddies coming down from Canada. <coughs> a lot of fun people that are going to be here. Yeah, Jeff and Andy are coming down from Canada. Two great, great guys. Uh, wish Martin was coming, but he's a little, a little busy right now. But you know, um, anybody out, anybody out there that's watching this that uh, wants to come in, you know, we're we've got a, a put together team down there, and it's pretty good. We're going to have Andy Sturette's going to captain it. Uh, it's yeah, called a gateway. A yeah, it's called a gateway team. And it's got some terrific people on it, you know. So I, I know I've got a, a Kenny Chavez is coming down there. He wants to come down and play. And um, 
So if you guys are out there and you hear us, you know, just come on down and check it out. Yeah. If you want to play. Call Bill. Just have him call Bill or message Bill and he'll get him on one of the teams. He's kind of watching that for us. Absolutely. But, uh, no, it's, it's, it's really going to be good. Ross Alexander called me yesterday and he's pretty sure he's going to be there. Wow. Yep. That was my very first market sponsor, Ross yeah. Alexander. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good guy. I really, I really have a lot of fun with him. Yep. And so I mean, I think we're good. Like I said, we got, uh, you know, it looks like we're so, you know, we, you know, we've got that one put together team. We're putting teams in. If we get it filled out, we'll be sold out. Otherwise, I think we're sitting at seventeen right now. Yeah, I think eighteen. I think eighteen will show up by the time we. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not too worried. Kick about that it. thing off. So you know, I'll, if there was I'll two teams, play. we would have fun. Yeah. Would you say, well, Kevin? I, we're going to have a good time no matter what. I'm looking so forward to this. I can't wait to see you guys. Yeah, right on. Oh, yeah. right on. Feel, feeling mutual, my friend. Feeling yeah. mutual. Yeah. You know, how many feel times do we get together we don't have a good time? I can't oh, remember last. Oh. It's fabulous. I mean, really. I mean, I mean, how can you not have fun with the guys we're hanging with? I mean, he, you know, Bud's kind of dull, but I mean, everything else, you know, I mean, you know, Dave and Tony and, you know. Bud I said you're so number one with him. I love it. I hope the kids are in bed tonight. Oh, <laughs> my, God. my God. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. We, like I said, all I want is to make sure everybody has a good time. You know, we've got a shuttle. If anybody's flying in and they don't have a car and they're staying at the Holiday Inn, uh, Airport West, they got a free shuttle that they'll take you around. Um, yeah, plus, you know, I'm driving this one, so, you know, uh, you can actually call me, too, if you yeah. need a ride from the airport down there. So, Whatever it is, we're going to take care of it. Yeah. Period. We're, we're good. No, we're good. I'll be in on things, I just, I just can't wait to see everybody. I mean, you know, the, you know, four or five times a year we get to do one of these things. I mean, and it's always a, always a blast, you know? Yeah, Gumby said he's ready. No, you know, Gumby, you know what's going to be cool? Gumby and Gene, I mean, I wish that I was playing. I love playing with those two guys. They are absolutely what paintball is all about. A kick, they are a kick in the they are pants. Yeah, yeah, they are. Kick in the pants, absolutely. Oh, my God. It's like a guy. comedy show watching them. I mean, it's like, oh, my God, what's good? <laughs> Yeah, it's your tournament. Gumby gets shooting, gets shot in the foot, and Gene goes, "You show me where you got shot." Yeah. He goes, There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's great. I like just. I, I always want to be around them because you never know what's going to come out of your mouth. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, 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 you, and you're so docile. Oh, yeah. Well, if anybody needs to get picked up at the airport or any of that stuff, just you know, just get a hold of me. I mean, I got. The, the, truck and you know we'll get you guys picked up but, you know make sure make it as easy as i yeah. can for everybody right on buddy well yeah. well danny's going to be there which is great too i'm looking oh, I can hear you. How's, how's his hip yeah. doing? how you hip doing danny great man great like 97 percent. so you're like, playing then no, I can hear you. Hey, you know something? Yeah. Uh, you know, you got big enough bunkers. Maybe I could hang behind one, but uh, I don't know. Oh, no, we just bunkers. we just want you to come and hang out. That's what you do. You know, we'll we'll get you playing next year. Well, yeah. Well, you know, I'll tell you the one I want to meet. I want to meet Bond Chick. I went to the Super Game with Dave and Tony, and and, I knew, and she was there, and I never ran into her. And I just, you know, because I see her on the show, you know, her name on the show, and I saw her interview. I said, man, so I got to meet her. She's pretty cool. She's listening and, uh, to you right now. And uh, I can't wait to get to meet her. You know, she's just, she seems like she's got it figured out on what how to have a good time in paintball. Yeah, well, she, I told her that when she comes down there, she can hang with the band. Yeah, she playing with the Valkyrie? Yeah, she playing with the Valkyrie? What's that? Anyway. Yeah, she well, played. Hey, I'll let you get back to it just so you can run a normal show. I'll, uh, I'll get out of this thing. And uh, uh, thanks for having me on. Sorry about the screw. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I'll talk to you guys. So, we'll talk to uh, you in a couple of weeks. If uh, anybody needs me ahead of time, you got my number. Right now. We love you, brother. See you. Thank you. All right. Bye bye, Jimmy. See you, Tim. All right, everybody. That was Mr. Tim Schloss, uh, Tiger Stripe Camouflage, Gateway Paintball. You know, all you guys uh, are going to be there. Where'd you guys see us field?
man, it's something else. I wanted to get a picture of him out there with the scissors on his knees, <laughs> trimming the grass, because that's so just about how many this thing is, man. Yeah, absolutely every, cool. Every single bunker is pretty much fat man compliant. Yeah, which which is absolutely great. The game is it's three hundred and sixty degrees. Just because you start on opposite ends, I mean, it, it this field is whack. There's nothing mirrored about it. It's yeah, I, I seen all game. those. Uh, I seen all those. Uh, what was that? Cedar cuts. Yeah, that, they're slab. Yeah, cedar yeah. slabs. Cedar slabs. Yeah. That was those very all cool. Eight foot wide bunkers, and each one is at least four feet tall. Wow. Yeah. Very cool. And Here we got. Go ahead. Uh, there's also dirt mount, you know, berms, you know, and trenches. So it's, you're going to be able to, it's like running a snake through the whole damn field. You have no clue where the hell people are going to come out at. Right. Yeah. Gino's supposed to come down here. Um, I hope he does. And I hope he brings uh, Josh Silverman and uh, David Bell with him. Yeah. So that would be absolutely cool. But, you know, we got Andy's coming down. Andy's going to uh, run the other team, the gateway yeah. team. So that'll be cool. And like I say, everybody, people that are listening or people are going to watch this in the next week. If you're looking for a team to play on or come down, we will get you on a team. Even if the team is full, we will get you on so you can actually say that you played in a WCPL. Well, I, I may need a couple bodies, too. So if there's anybody watching out there looking to play on a team, hit me up. Yeah. And, now, listen, guys, you get to play on the Master Blasters. That is... Uh, that would be very, very cool. Oh, and here, we, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Uh, oh, bud, yeah, you come on, bud. <laughs> Defect over, bud. Don't, don't you dare. That would be an honor. That yeah. would be definitely an honor. Good having Kevin on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I scared him off. <laughs> yeah, scared, yeah, you did it, bud. Kevin. Oh my God. He, yeah, he pushed the red that. button, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh shit. Don't push yeah. the red button. Kevin. Yeah. Don't push it. Don't push it. You know, it. Dennis Citron said he's going to be there too. You know, Dennis, if you don't have a team, let us know, buddy. Bring your gear. We'll have a good time. We'll let you hang out with some absolutely terrific people. And you know who I want to oh, get right. on the band is, you know, we, oh, we got the old version of the Colby. We need the young version of the Colby on the band. So, um, Johnny, Gavin, are you coming down? Johnny, you coming down? You coming down, Johnny? Yeah, he better come down. Yeah, he's coming down. John, he's Johnny, coming down. Johnny's got to be. You know, Johnny's got to be. You know what? It's like it's it's right on the edge of like when I'm like leaving out of town. Um, got it. I, I'm probably gonna have to come. I'm probably gonna come. I think I'm gonna come. We mean he have to come. <laughs> He's coming, and yeah. it's, you know. Well, sometimes, yeah. sometimes you know, I, I know John's a little busy here now. You know, I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's just, since you've been faking all them injuries, Danny, and John's been running everything <laughs> here, man. <laughs> hey, he, he has. He he really has been handling all this. I, I gotta oh, tell you, we had, I, we had done a tournament, and. uh just the first time I didn't do anything. I mean, I felt really shitty because I, I couldn't set up the tent. I couldn't do any of this stuff. I couldn't do any of it. And he did it all himself. You know what I mean? So uh, no matter what it is, man, I'm really proud of him because. Oh, absolutely. You got to. See, see, see Dan is forgetting. You know, Dan, I, Dan's I, I forgetting that I've been at the other tournaments too. It. What's that? Steve? I was saying, I, I've been at the other tournaments, too, and I, I think I remember you talking with all the rest of the guys on this while I'm putting the tents up and pulling out all the gear. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> the first time was with John. All right, all right. I, no, no, no. We're good. We're good. No, hey, I got to tell you something, man. <laughs> uh, John learned a lot about the whole fucking business from you. Yeah. I mean, seriously. I mean, you jumped out with me when you were about like 16 years old or something like this, 17 years old. Oh, yeah, it was uh, – I had to wait till I could drive because my mother wouldn't let me do anything that was remotely normal. I still have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, no. so I, yeah, I was about sixteen. I got in my car, I drove out there, and I asked, "Just, I want a job here. I, I, I need to work here now." Yeah, you know, real quick, everybody. Jen, Jeff Munoz is watching tonight because I just seen uh, Dennis say hi to him. Jeff, you know, I had him on a, a few weeks ago. He is one heck of a player and one heck of a guy. Boy, 
Jeff, if you're listening, yeah. Oh, terrific person. Yeah. Yeah, man. If you could make it down there, we would love to have you hang out with us. Uh, and anytime, you know, if you can't make it to this one, make it to one next year. Uh, we would love to have you come down. Uh, absolutely. Terrific, terrific person, everybody. Jeff Munoz. So, you know, John, you know, not many dads would go have an operation that they don't need just to, to let you take over like that. So you got to love I that. Know, guy, aren't you I know, aren't I lucky? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I'd use that word, but. <laughs> no, you you do a terrific job. You know, your dad when your dad and I linked up, you know, you were just a little guy. And, uh, you know, I watched your dad, how he handled the business back then and took care of things. And, you know. You're just kind of like a chip off the old block, John, uh, the way you handle business, the way you try to set stuff up and uh, looking to get, you know, deals made for the future. You know, my hat's off to you. It really is. Appreciate it. Thank you, Fred. Yeah. They're two Wait, of the greatest people. They're the two of the greatest people at paintball right there. I love you talking about both. me and John? Yeah, I know, Dan. Thank you, boy. Yeah, Thank yeah you're boy. John. Yeah, yeah. yeah, actually, everybody yeah. on this screen, everybody on this screen, man, I just, God, I just love uh, you guys so much. I mean, there Kevin, you go. I finally, he doesn't have to work when I'm around him, so he isn't getting the whole pissed off at everybody. So yeah. now we can go out and have a good time. Oh, yeah, we're going to bust his Kevin, chops there. Kevin sounds like he's going to kill everybody, but, you know, yeah. he, he's got a big smile on his face. I thought, well, this is kind of weird. But, yeah. you know, you know like Kevin's a great guy. You know, Steve, I, I, John, you know, you, you're so quiet. You know, I mean, it's just unreal. <laughs> and your fucking dad, I don't know about him. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who's not quiet? Uh, yeah, he isn't quiet. But I, you know, but I love him to death. He's just such a neat guy. So, so, John, what new products do you have going, buddy? What's that? You're just so I said, bitching. I said, what new products you got going? Thanks, man. Thanks, bud. Uh, we got this new graphics line of bottles I'm working on. Um, I was supposed to have some in for uh, this coming weekend, but <laughs> I don't think they're going to be in in time. So I definitely will have them for the uh, WCPL. So we'll have them for the uh, St. Louis event. Good. Um. We're just trying to, you know, everything's getting goofy again. We're noticing a lot of issues again with shipping. So I don't know what's going on, but I yeah. feel like it's worse now after all of this COVID shit happened than it was during the whole thing. You know, yeah. I feel like everybody's reverting back to, oh, it's COVID, it's COVID. And it's just, it's getting crazy with everything, no matter yeah. if it's in the States or out of the country. I've noticed it also, you know, with a lot of stuff coming out here in California, you know, I was at a store a few weeks ago, and I was asking them where a certain item was, and they said it's sitting on a ship offshore right now. They couldn't even get it unloaded. So, you know, that's the problem with it. Uh, what's this coming weekend? That's what, the ICPL? That's the ICPL uh, at Badlands out here. Right on. Yeah, you're going to be at that, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, very yeah, I mean, cool. Yeah. It's, it's, it's only 40 minutes from home, so for us, it's... It's a piece of cake. Yeah, it's just an easy one to go to for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah Rennick, that's Rennick Miller's field. Uh, Rennick goes way back. Uh, we all go way back. Uh, so we knew each other back in the day. So I hear his, his field's pretty cool. So, But I hear a lot of good it's things good about event. your dad's and Steve's field, too. It's a good event. Yeah, that's that's what I haven't had an opportunity to be out there and see it yet for myself. But, uh, you know, I've known Steve for quite a few years now. And I know how my dad is, and you know, between both of them, uh, it's going to turn out to be something really nice. You know, between I see these got they got the uh, mounds field they're working on now. Right. You know, that was the first time I seen anybody lay out an entire damn mounds field with tires. You know, they planned out the entire thing. You yeah. know, it's just it's a lot of time and dedication and work to go into it. And, uh, the but final end result should really be something else. That's what's going to pay off for him, though. You know, I mean, that that you know? that and and you know, Danny's knowing Danny like we do. You know, that's one of the reasons uh, when we knew Rico uh, was dropping out of the WCPL. Um, that's why I called uh, everybody right away. You know, I called Kevin right away, and you know, Kevin was all for it uh, because 
you know, Danny's Danny's first class when it comes to this stuff. And you know, when I talk to Danny, Steve, he really blows your horn. Man, I got to tell you. Well, he, well yeah. don't tell people that. I mean, come on now. Yeah, that, I, that's, I mean, Steve. I, that was I one that time we let you watch that. I did that surgery, so I couldn't do it. All this stuff has been done by Steve. And and I gotta tell you something. I'm I'm, I'm extremely. I'm not a religious guy or anything like that, man, by any stretch of the imagination. But I gotta tell you, I'm a, I'm really grateful for him being, uh, being there and doing what he's done because I wasn't able to do it. But well, you know, the thing was, you taught me all we, of worked, we worked together for so long. You know something? I could look at you and you know what I'm fucking thinking to go get that tour or whatever it is. I mean, we worked like this together, man. And that's why, you know, I'm really happy that you were, nobody else could have done what you did at that field, really, because it usually takes oversight. Do you know what I mean? People got to oversight something because they're not familiar with it. You know I mean? It's not their expertise or whatever, but a paintball blitz, I mean, look at yeah. what we did, you know what I mean? So we knew what was going on and I don't think there's too many people that could jump into this game and say they got the experience that you got. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, I mean you know exactly the experience. I mean, I, I started started your field. That's how it all began. So uh, well, we're, I mean, we're definitely looking forward to having you guys uh, with us. You know, and like I say, you know, it's it's we're all grateful, Kevin, because you know, Kevin, you're the one that really had the idea to do this. Um, you're the one that had the moxie to say, "Let's step up and do it," because you know, there's like a gazillion things going on in paintball. And, uh, you know, uh, tournament here, tournament there. But, you know, I I think what, what you've created and uh, hopefully what we can keep building into next year and really make it something, I think it's absolutely outstanding. You know, the, the woods ball thing is terrific. And, and just everything that, that you've done for paintball, Kevin, to bring this, I'll say, full circle. Because how did we start? Where did you, we start? You give me, you give me In the woods. You know, I mean... <laughs> I just doing. I, I just listened to the players for years, you know. And all I'm doing is just what I believe they want, and that's that's what we're all trying to do here: is give these guys what they deserve for their money, you know, and their time and their and, you know and their investment, and that's all, you know. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm the mouthpiece, but I just listened to everybody and ran with it. That's all. And you guys were all there when I needed to. We got a great thing going here, and I just see nothing but. Oh, you know we have your back. There's no, <laughs> there's look, nobody look, on this been, screen right now. We wouldn't have their back. That's for damn sure. We've been all together for many, 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 many years, one way or another, right? <laughs> Absolutely oh, yeah. right. Yep. So and, many years, and, and still loving it. So, and you know what's going to be cool is, um, you know, Steve is even going to come up to the WCPL uh, up in St. Louis. Yeah, that's what I said too. Is excellent. excellent. So we can like we can all sit down and uh, have a talk. Absolutely. Right we yeah. have to. I won't be running from any hurricanes, so but if I am, <laughs> I'll just go faster. There you go. Yeah, we just, uh, you know, I just wanted to recognize you, Kevin, for really getting this ball rolling. You know, you're the one that pushed the, the ball over the hill. Now we're all trying to, to keep it rolling here. So Couldn't do it without all you guys. Couldn't do it. This is no way this would have happened. So. Well, we wouldn't do it. You can say I, each other I, either, so, yeah, yeah. I made the phone calls, but I'm telling you, it's a team thing, and we're a team. <laughs> yeah, here well, it's really good to see finally, you know, something like this transferred over and made it, it actually happen. You know what I mean? Because talking about for a period of time, man, and, and you know something, uh, two minutes into any conversation, you know the passion you got. I mean, you, you, I mean, it's, you, you're talking about somebody who wants something for the player. You couldn't find somebody who's more dedicated to the player than you are. Okay. And it's not like you said a million times. I don't I don't need this shit. I don't need the fucking money. It's not about the money. It's about the player and the player's experience. He but says, I've been I can get that for so long. You know, I I'm a player, man. You know, like right. I, I you know, I know how I feel. I know what I want. I know what I expect. I know what I would like. And that's what I want to give to the other to the players that are out there. Well, you're doing everything for the right reasons. You know what I mean? As a player, not somebody who just got into this as a business, hoping that maybe they'll bring home a couple of bucks at the end of the weekend. You know, you that know what people are, what people need. 
Well, I think the reason I think the reason everybody jumped in, though, you know, is because, Kev, of who you are. I don't want to blow too much smoke up your butt because I don't want you starting on fire here. But, you yeah. know, um, you know, that's a, a, a lot of the big reason that everybody jumped in is because uh, of who you are. And, you know, I could hear it in your voice when you talked about getting the woods ball thing going, because, you know, we talked about this way before we even started doing this, you know. Um, in fact, when you talked about it first time, I didn't even think it was going to happen. And then all of a sudden, boom, you started getting really serious. And then I got really serious. And then everybody got really serious. And uh, because you needed, I needed the team. I needed you guys. You know, I needed, I needed, I needed people that feel the way I feel about the game and the players. That's what I needed to find. Could have found a yep. hundred people to do this with, but they would have been doing it for all the wrong reasons. No, I absolutely money, 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 money. You know, I mean, that's why you know when people say, "Oh, you only have eighteen teams," you know, it's not about money; it's quality, mm -hmm. not quantity. I want to give you the best experience I can give you for the most reasonable price, and you guys all feel the same way. So, how yeah. are we going to fail? Well, it's all about fun. Yep. You know, look at the fun we had. Not, not, not this year. Look at last year. Let's go back to last year when you only had thirteen teams there. What kind of time was that? That was one of the best. I, I, and I've had a lot of great times. I, I've been blessed over the years to to play paintball all over the place and meet the best of the best, which I've got on my screen right now. But that has to be in one of the top five best times I've ever had playing paintball. Was this year was fun, but the year before was unbelievable. It just well, uh, when you have when you have. You know, when you don't have 80 teams, 60 teams, it's a totally different environment. You know, people actually get to socialize. You know, you it becomes an event, not a tournament. It becomes a festival, not a, you know, a competition. It and was a kick in the pants. Period. Everybody has a good time off the field. And then the bonus is you're playing paintball. You know, I mean, it, it, <laughs> what more can you ask for? You know, I go to some of these big events and there's, 60 teams there, and I don't see anybody except my team and whoever I'm playing against all weekend. Yep, that's not what I want to do anymore. I yeah, we had a Facebook to do. Yeah, we had a Facebook user said I had a blast. See, that's what you want to hear, guys. That's what Ooh, I want you to know? hear. That's what I, I exactly what I want to hear. Yeah, and if you didn't tell me what I did wrong, and I won't do it again. Yep. You know? you know, yeah, and, and it's it's just like equipment, you know. I mean, immortal air. All I hear is good things about immortal air. Auto cocker. All I hear is good things about auto cocker, you know, and, and Bill, you know, Bill has worked his butt off down there at Tim's till he got sick. That's probably why he got sick. Tim worked him to death. But anyhow, <laughs> but Billy, you know, um, what you've done down there at the field and some of the pictures you sent, man, the minute those pictures go out there, people are texting me right away seeing how cool that is. It looks yeah. great. It looks fantastic. I mean, it's, it's a destination. You know, I want to see it. I am anxiously looking forward to seeing it. It's really cool. Right when you drive in, you got the stage right there. You're going to look at the stage right there. And then there's the field to the left and the field to the right and all the parking and staging right behind the stage. I mean, it's all right I'm also, there. I'm also looking forward to going someplace new. Oh yeah, it's brand new. Same old, old, same old, same old. You know. Yeah, but I got you know some of the same old is pretty cool because you know the Ponderosa. You know, other than being eight miles long, I think it's one of the coolest fields I've ever played. It is. It is. It I is. just love that stuff. You know, I, I get excited <laughs> to go to New York. You know, thirty some years ago when I played the, my first time at the World Cup there, I was excited as hell. I was just New excited the last two times. You know, come on. New York is special though because you know. Everything started there, you know. Like if you if you want to go back to where paintball started, that's you know competition paintball as we know it today. You know, it it it, it started there. You know, the World Cup started there. The big event. That's what I got. The biggest kick out of is to be able to play at that field for that reason. You know what I mean? So it didn't matter to me about anything else. It was the fact that I had the opportunity to play that field personally. You know what I mean? To say I was there. You know what I mean? So I heard about it for years and years and years. Uh, it was something I always wanted to do. Never had the opportunity. And when I had the opportunity, it was amazing. So, yeah, absolutely yeah. right. And you guys enjoy it. You that's know, what was a trip, you know, is is the year before when I went back to play it. It was almost the same day 30 years ago that I played it the first time. 
How yeah. amazing is that? You know, that's so. that's the, that's the draw. That's the cool yeah. fact. You know, is going back there. You know, yeah, it'd, be like, it'd, be, it'd be like going back to you know Hermitage Landing with Jimmy. Yeah, oh, that kind of yep, absolutely right. Now, now I'm looking forward to to going to uh, up to uh, Stephen and Danny's field now too. You know, Panhandle Paintball. I'm uh, I'm just really excited about that also, and I'm excited about having them with us. I, I think they are a terrific addition. No, it's going to be a blast. Yeah, <laughs> looking forward to it. It's going to be looking something else. I'm, I really am, and I'm glad that you guys have that place in Florida. You know. I'm I'm sad losing Rico, you know, because I love the guy, and but you know for his reasons he doesn't want to do this anymore. Yeah, which is fine, you know. It's great it, that it, we got you guys in Florida. I mean, you know, what more could I ask for? <laughs> yeah, you, that's what I'm saying. You know, the minute the minute Rico got a hold of me and told me what his intentions were, you know, the first first name that came to mind was Danny. You know, cool. and then I I talked to Danny. If, you know, actually first I talked to you, Kevin. Then I talked to Tim, you know, and Tim told me, hey, Freddie, that'd be great. So then I talked to Danny, and Danny talked to Steve, and, you know, uh, that's how it went. So, you know, I think we're one big happy family, and I think next year is going to be pretty cool. So I'm looking really forward cool to St. Louis. Going to, going to a new place in Florida, too. You know, it's not Orlando. It's not Tampa. It's not <laughs> hey, you know, Japan, something, you know, you know, something been- also, you know, something also, too, that I, I was looking, I was looking at the geographical uh side of this and by them being in a panhandle you know they're so close to mississippi alabama georgia, alabama, georgia yeah, all, yeah. all of this you know and what's going to happen is a lot of guys that didn't want to actually couldn't make the trip down to orlando <laughs> can make it down to their field up there in, in panhandle so you know well, i'm uh a lot of paintball within eight hours of you guys so yeah, oh yeah yeah we're gonna push yeah. the hell out of that i'm looking forward to going <laughs> something you know, at this point in my life, 40, I mean, you know, next April, I'll be, but I start my 40th year in this game. And to go yep. to a new spot is exactly so where you haven't was. been. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's a well, great setup. You guys would love it. Got there for you. I think everybody would be impressed. You know, I mean, uh, you wouldn't be a field owner if you didn't think you had the best field possible. You know what I mean? Because you put your heart and soul into it. So, you know, it, you know you're proud of it. Um, and, and, and much like ourselves, I think that that's exactly there was a lot of a lot of consideration and thought about, you know, the best that it could be for the player, period. You know what I mean? And, well, if you have the player in mind, they'll come. You know, I mean, if you don't have the player in mind, you're only going to be a shot in the dark. People are going to come the first time and you'll never see them again. You yep. know, yeah, you, you, you want something from you got, you got, it's, it's all about, you know, something's about something really basic and it's called customer service. You know what I mean? And, and I think if you go back to the, the original thing about customer service and doing the right thing the first time, not because you have to the second time or somebody caught you slacking. Okay. Just have it. This is what, right, Steve? Is that what, just no, do no, the right thing? No, no, 100%. Time, and you don't have to 100%. worry about it. And you know something, and we all are part of this. Everybody on this thing is for one thing, and it was always for the player. You know, I mean, when we were younger and said that, people thought there was an alternative motive. Now that oh, we're this old, people think I think they're fucking serious. You know, well, yeah. they, you know they are just for the players. You know what I mean? So, Christ been saying the singing the same fucking tune for thirty years. Yeah, yeah. Well, people are finally hearing now, though. You know, yeah, because. Yeah. They were dazzled by the bullshit that they saw. And now they had a long enough time to dissect it and, and really realize, man, that's not where they want to be. They want to go be back out into the woods or with their buddies. No, right? Absolutely. But, but, you, but you know, what you, you, you got to make it like I was talking about at the beginning, you know, the Masters and, and Jerry's World Cup. It was like a family reunion. That's what you want. You want people to get excited to go do this, not get excited to go to try to win they're going to do that automatically you want them more excited about who they're going to get to see there knowing that they're going to go to this tournament and this team with this guy and everything is going to be there to me that's what really drives me that pumps me man and it did back in the day the same damn thing as it does now nothing different back back, i think back in the day didn't everybody look forward to that i mean you didn't see your paintball buddies for six weeks 
You got to go over there and get a really you great to, time. You went to win, but you, I always went to see people. You yeah, know, right. the Me too. Yeah. yeah. Right. You, you, you know? want to go see everybody, hang out with everybody. You still want to play ping pong and win. You know, I, mean, I still want to win. I want to be with my boys. I want to get away from you know home and work and all the bullshit at home and work. And but you know, there's look at, always look at the camaraderie we had and in the fun. Where I go, oh, you got to admit, yeah. hanging out with this group is special. Come on, <laughs> I, I mean, what it, kind it, of special? Are we talking, special. We talking short bus? Uh, uh, short yeah, bus? You know, the the bus is so <laughs> short we sit next to the driver. But anyhow, you know. <laughs> I mean, now this is a, a terrific, terrific group of people. It really is. And uh, that's that to me is a big thing, you know, and that's why I'm looking so much forward to going to the WCPL in St. Louis and, and seeing, you know, Bill has worked his, uh, his he has worked very hard. <laughs> I'll leave it there. Uh, but you, Bill, you've done I a terrific job pain, there, buddy. And, you know, yeah, um, we are, you know, nobody says it, but, you know, Bill, deep down, we all, totally appreciate everything that you've done you know i've only known bill now for what going on two years yeah yeah and so um you know bill was never really part of the loop uh until i met him and then he never even knew tim tim lives 200 miles from him no i knew tim i, I knew tim but you <laughs> never hung with him but i hadn't you know i never i just got to shoot him in the gut back in 84 but uh <laughs> other than that that was it you know <laughs> But now, now look at now everybody's all working together. You know, yeah. that, that's one big thing I tell. That's one thing I preach on the show all the time is, you know, individually, we can all do stuff for paintball. But yeah. collectively, we can do an awful lot for paintball. And that's what we're doing collectively is all working together. Do the so, best we can. Anyway, yep. right? So, guys, um, I blew past my hour. Um, if you guys hang on, we'll talk in the dream room in a minute. Uh, but, uh, Kevin, I'm going to let you first, buddy. Uh, say goodbye to everybody. Guys, it's great seeing you all. I look forward to seeing you all in two weeks. Two and a half. Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. It's good seeing you, man. Thanks, Kevin. Take care, How's brother. Larry doing? How's Larry? Take care, brother. Take care. Larry's, doing, time, Larry's doing okay, man. Um, he yeah, they had, he had some complications and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So um, he's got some surgeries and things like that he's going to have to go through. Um, yeah, well, but he is doing a lot better. I mean, when he went in, he was like an inch from death. I know. You know that's I mean? why I'm asking. Give him my love, brother. You know, let him know I, I'm thinking about him, will you? I most certainly will. I appreciate that. And so does he, man. Thanks, Kevin. Right. Thank Be you. good, guys. But I'll All see right. you in a couple of weeks. Take care, bro. Take care, brother. Take care, brother. <laughs> Looking forward to see you, Kevin. See you later, Kevin. Bye, Kevin. Bye, Kevin. All right, everybody, that was Mr. Kevin Donaldson. Um, Mr. Master Blaster. Uh, you know, I, I've known Kevin for a lot of years. Same guy I met years ago. Nothing different, except now he's got a bear, which we won't talk about now because we're out of time. <laughs> but there, there's a pretty cool story behind that bear. But I don't want to embarrass Bill. Um, so uh, No embarrassment. It's a hell of a bear. <laughs> it is a hell of a bear. I give you yeah. that too, man. I love it. So, All right, Steve. Um, you know, you didn't get to talk much tonight because we were just uh, wrapping away. But I am looking very much forward to meeting you, you know, in St. Louis. Oh, absolutely. And you'll laugh, but for, for almost 20 years now, I've been watching, I've, I've just been watching you guys all talking to each other. You just, you just never noticed me and that's okay. But it's, it's <laughs> it, I always laugh. It's always a great time just, just listening and being part of it. So well, you guys, know, thank you. Yeah. You're a great guy. I'll be honest with Steve, you. Know, I'll talk to you later. All right, man. Yeah. You're no, absolutely. Now, now, now you're, now you're getting into a, a crew. Part. You're yeah, you're getting yeah. into a crew that you're going to absolutely love. The, uh, the people I, that we get to hang with are um, they're tremendous, and you'll see what I mean. It, it'll start are. for you. It'll start for you in St. Louis. You'll see what I'm talking about. Very proud of oh, you. Oh yeah, very very proud absolutely. of you. And, and, and it's nice to see after all these years, man, that something like this happened. You know, between us. You know what I mean? Because very cool. you like a you like a. A brother to John and a son to me. You know what I mean? It's you know that's yeah. how it, it really that's is. That's how I so, feel a lot of the time. Exactly. I want to say goodbye to everybody, Steve. Bye, everybody. So see you, I'll talk Steve. To you guys there, soon. I'll see you in two Take weeks. Care. See you in two weeks, man. See you, Steve. Two weeks. All care. right, everybody. Mr. Steve Preskill, that's uh, Dan's partner up there at uh, Pan Handle 
paintball. So I'm looking forward to seeing your field too, Danny. Uh, Thanks. Absolutely terrific. And, you know, Dan and John, I appreciate you guys coming on tonight. Uh, you know, John, I wish we could have got to talk to you a little bit more. I, I know you're a busy guy. You know, I, I know you're newly married. And, uh, yeah, so you got that going on. You got a mortal era going on. You, you know, you got a, a lot of irons in the fire. So I, I think you're a terrific kid, what you're doing. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. No, Look forward pleasure. to seeing everybody in a couple of weeks. And it should be a good time. Yeah, it will Take be. Care. And uh, we're, we're very, I was very happy that you got your dad on tonight. I appreciate that because uh, I want to, I want to talk a little more about Immortal Era, but I'm going to have you guys on again. And uh, maybe next time you can drag some of the products out because uh, everybody knows, and I've said it for years and years, you know, went from Air America to Immortal Air. Um, I've shot nothing else. I will shoot nothing else. <coughs> Period. Cut and dry. Thanks, Danny, man. I'm going to let you say goodbye. All right, guys. Good to see you. Boy, always good to see you, man. Always good to see you. Much respect. You know that. Take care, Bill, brother. It's good Take to care. see you. Yep. I hope you feel better. Stay well. Pray. Much love. Say hello to and good night to Sherry for me. She's I will, brother. Lady. See you later, Steve. Yeah. Uh, and we'll talk to you later, bud. Looking John, forward to seeing you John. guys in two weeks. Yeah. That's hang on, it, hang man. on, hang on in the green room, brother. All right, man. All right. All right. All right, buddy. It's Mr. Dan and John Colby, Immortal Air. What a great I, I mean, Dan couldn't ask for somebody better than John to back him up, could he guys? No, he's great. He's a great guy. Great, great young man. Uh, Absolutely right. And Bud, we appreciate so much you coming on, man. I just, uh, pleasure, I cannot wait man. to see. I cannot wait to see you in a couple of weeks. You know, <laughs> it, it, you know, it, it, like I say, this is putting the band back together. Here we are. You know what? This is absolutely cool as hell. So I'm going to say goodbye to everybody, but hang on in the green room. All right, you take care. Love you guys. Cut and dry. All right. All right, everybody, it's Mr. Bud or War Game Products. Um, like I say, you don't know Bud. Obviously, you were raised under a rock. Or yep. you just don't know what paintball is, So, <laughs> which is both kind of strange to me, Billy. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're getting a little better, buddy. Um, yeah. I wanted to talk a little bit more tonight, but, you know, I know that, uh, you know, because you haven't been feeling good, and I know that drains you. Yeah, you get time. to cough. It's hard, it's hard to talk, you know. You, you start coughing. It's like, oh, we didn't yeah. even find out when uh, Steve Steve started playing paintball. I'm going to ask. I'm going to have Steve back on the show again. Yeah. Um, this isn't the last time. I want to. I want to bring him and uh, uh, Danny and John back on again uh, when we can sit and talk to him a little bit more about it. I'm looking forward. I want to get some more pictures of uh, Panhandle paintball so I can start posting it and start pushing their field. Um, yeah. But uh, we're going to talk a lot about it when we're in St. Louis. I'm going to bring uh, the portable studio down there. And yeah. uh, we're going to sit down. We're going to have them on live. And uh, we're going to talk about Panhandle Paintball. We're going to talk about Immortal Air. We're going to talk about how cool Bud Orr is. Uh, and and we're going to get to talk to Tim Schloss and actually hear him because I'll have my stuff there. <laughs> so, you know, it should uh, all work out pretty damn good. Yeah. Right on, Billy. All right. Let's say goodbye to everybody. Bye, everybody. Cut and dry. All right, everybody, it's Mr. William Bailey. Um, you know, we ran a little long tonight. I appreciate it very, very much, you guys watching. Uh, you know, I, I could have uh, ran this show until the wee hours in the morning. That's how much I think of these people. And uh, Dennis, I got to tell you, buddy, uh, I'm going to put you up here right now. Dennis, I appreciate so much you watching. Um, I'm hoping that you show up in St. Louis uh, because we're going to hook you up. Uh you know, everybody knows how grateful I am for my viewers. So uh, we, we do pretty good. Um, I keep it on Facebook. I don't spread out, which I might start doing here pretty soon. But, you know, my viewers mean everything. My guests mean everything to me. My friends are the world to me. So anyhow, ran a little long. I apologize for that. But I thank you so much for hanging on here tonight. Everybody next week, please tune in. Because remember, like I was saying earlier, individually, we can do a lot for paintball. Together, we can make paintball bigger and better. So please, until next week, 7 p.m. Pacific time, on Facebook, on Flagpole Productions, play hard, play safe, play fair, 
Get out there and play paintball, everybody. All right. You guys have a good evening now. Bye.